So you're married? I I'm engaged. To that movie star? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Murphy. He's great. You better be if he gets to marry you. You married, Sonny? Robin didn't tell you? No. Carly and I got divorced a long time ago. Right. <clears throat> Carly also had a baby with Jax, right? Jocelyn. Yeah. You and Jax keep in touch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sent me a birth announcement. He donates to ASAC, but I don't see him. Well, I'm not married to anyone at the moment. <laughs> But, uh, you know, uh, it might be a good thing since I jumped bail. I had to f flee the country on a charge of attempted murder. Try to hurt. I know I've been involved in a lot of killings. Th this was self-defense, but my lawyer doesn't think that she can prove it. Why not? Because I hate this man, and I've openly threatened to kill him on many occasions, even to a federal prosecutor, God bless her little heart, who was wearing a, a wire. I know I'm stupid. What are you talking about? You're not stupid. You're not stupid. I mean, you're, you're a little self-absorbed, and you have a bad temper, but... Yeah, well... You're not stupid. Well, why'd you try to hurt him? Because... Johnny made me believe that he was sleeping with my teenage daughter. She, Christina's 17, Johnny's 30. No. And he wanted to hurt me for other reasons that aren't even worth talking about. Okay, so she's, your, your daughter, your daughter is 17 and he's 30? That's disgusting. How's Christina? I'm not the, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a great father for a daughter because I'm, I can be distant, I can be controlling. I love her to, to death, but she scares me to death. <sighs> she scares you to death. Yeah. So then she runs around and destroys everything in her path to try to prove to everybody that she doesn't care who loves her and who doesn't love her, but she does. You know, all she wants is your attention, right? No, she got my attention. <laughs> she, she, she got me to, to believe that she was sleeping. She was sleeping with Johnny. And, uh... Oh, my God. I don't know. And I started believing it because of what I'd done in my own life, you know? With Karen, with you. No, 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 what are you talking about? Well, I mean... I'm completely different. Why would you even put me in that category? I grew up fast and by myself with no parents. I mean, I may have been 18 when we met, but I was already in college. Can you... Is, doesn't that sound crazy to you, that you were in college and I was running the strip No, job? no, well, uh, whoa, I don't even want to know about that. You don't... <laughs> technically, <laughs> your club was closed by the time you started dating me. Yeah, that makes all the difference. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like you're, you know, love your daughter, you're worried about your daughter, you're thinking that she's going through all these struggles because of you, like it's some punishment for all the wrong things you've done in your life. Mm. That's not true, Sonny. I don't know, maybe. But you know what? All I know is I wanted it to stop. And I did something that I'm going to regret for the rest of my life. I tried to kill Johnny by putting a bomb in his car. The same way Lily died. You feel bad now, Everton? Being with me? First time I saw you after Lily died, and you were drunk. You were in so much pain. You were just destroyed. I saw what it cost you. 
how much everything costs you. There's no way, Sonny, that you would ever be involved with a car bomb ever again, unless you had to be, unless you were desperate. You were a desperate father trying to protect his daughter. Car bomb didn't kill Johnny. But he wanted payback. So he caught me on the street. Put a gun. He was gonna pull the trigger. Said he was gonna kill me, so I shot him first. Left him there, went home. Called my lawyer. Somehow Johnny's gun disappeared, yeah. so they charged me yeah, with yeah, you yeah, know, because you shooting would never, an unarmed cop. You wouldn't shoot someone who had no chance of fighting back ever. I wish she I wish she hadn't said that. <laughs> I did that. No. I shot, listen, I shot my son. He's a cop. I mean, your son's a cop. But... I got his mother pregnant when she was in high school. She never told me, and she never told him. Years later, he's assigned to take me down. It's a small world, ain't it? And you shot him? I shot him the day he was going to arrest me. I liked him. I was impressed by him. But when I found out he was an undercover cop and he was playing with my kids and working my family, I had... I had to get rid of him, and I did what it, what you said that I would never do, is shoot a man who has no chance to fight back. The door opens. I hear his mother screaming. You shot your own son. I'm so sorry. That must have been awful. after I told him that I shot a cop. You're not a monster. Don't ever call yourself a monster. If you were a monster, it wouldn't cost you. You know, I never would have done it if I knew he was my son. Of course. But the truth is that I should have never done it at all. That's something I just realized. <sighs> Did he die, Sonny? He made a full recovery, joined the PCPD. He testified in court. <laughs> that I wouldn't be a flight risk. Wait, so your son, the cop, helped you run away? My son believed that I would stay and prove my innocence. So why didn't you? Because I'm, I'm starting to feel like my kids are better off without me. They've been hurt because of me, what I say, what I don't say, what I do, what I don't do, I would lie down and die for my kids. But at this point, I think they're, they're better off without no, me. No, 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 no. Trust me, they're not, they're not. You're their father, they need I you. I just told you I shot my, my oldest son. The only, the only one of my kids that hasn't been in the hospital yeah, I heard is you. Morgan. I mean, and eventually he I'm the girl be. you left, you remember you left me? I know why you left me. I know why you left me. To protect me, right? Did you think about asking me what I wanted? Did you think about asking me if I wanted that? Because if you would have asked me, I would have chosen to stay with you. I would have stayed with you. I would have given up my life for you. And I'm some girl you almost married. I'm just some girl you almost married. These are your kids, you know? These are your kids. They need you. And you need to go after them always. You need to go back for them. I don't care what you've done to them. You need to go after them, and you need to never give up on them. Maybe I shouldn't have left them. I don't know. Just, I'm so confused at this point, but I'm, I'm glad that I came, because I, I, I got to see you.
the door guy's here, so. Door guy's not enough. You need guards. Yeah, I, I got it. I, I, guards, right? I got it. Guards. Uh, it's it's amazing. Forever you wanted to be free, away from the guards, and now that you built a life for yourself, so successful and everything, you you need guards more than ever. Yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, well, you know what? Um, have a great um, life with your husband. Yeah, thanks. Because you deserve it. You deserve the best. Thanks. Can you do me a favor? Hmm. Because I deserve it. Can you tell me why you came here? I told myself that you were sad, lonely, and you needed me. And that when I saw you and I, I would hold your hand and all the years apart, all the choices we made would just disappear. But though, you know, choices and years don't just disappear, they, they make you who you are. And you're right, I, I, I gotta go back, I gotta, I gotta face it. Not just for my children, but just, you know, for me. And maybe that's one of the reasons why I did run into you, because I knew that you would give me the right answer. <laughs> I think you're giving me too much credit. No, I don't think I gave you enough credit. I, I, I loved you from the start. 